Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of inequalities, specifically how we can write inequalities on a number line, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic number line here, and we have a pretty simple inequality up at the top. 32x plus 10 is less than or equal to 106. So when we are simplifying this inequality, and I keep calling it an inequality simply because we don't have an equal sign here. We have a less than or equal to, and so the inequalities that we're used to, right, are going to be our less than or equal to. We've got our greater than or equal to, and then we've just got our greater than and our less than symbols, right? So those are, when we see those in uh, this type of situation, this number sentence, we call an inequality rather than an equation. So we are going to first see if we can isolate the variable. So I've got this 32x sitting right here. I want to get this by itself. So I'm going to take this constant right here, plus 10, and I'm going to think, what is the inverse operation of that plus 10? Well, plus 10 inverse is going to be minus, because plus and minus addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So if I subtract 10 from both sides, I'm going to be able to get that 32x by itself, because I'm really kind of keeping this picture of a balance in my mind. This is something that we learned about all the way back in first grade, that equations, or in this case inequalities, are kind of like balances. And so as long as you do the same thing on both sides, you can keep a balanced equation, or in this case a balanced inequality. So if we do plus 10 minus 10, that's going to cancel itself out. So We've got 32x less than or equal to 106 minus 10. That is going to be, so we've got 96. All right, so 32x is less than or equal to 96. Now we've got to do the same thing. We've got this coefficient of 32, and this is being held on by multiplication because when there's a number next to a letter and you have no operator in view, you are going to assume it is multiplication. So the inverse operation is, let's just divide, 32 over 32. Well, that just makes 1. So that's going to be fine. That's what we're looking for. So now we need to divide this side by 32. So let's see what that's going to be. 32 into 96 twice. Let's try three times. Yeah, that's going to work out perfectly. No remainder. So 32 over 32 actually just becomes 1. So we're just going to call this 1x. But that's what we're looking for. And we don't really need to uh, write that 1. That's kind of implied because there's only 1x. So we can just call it x. So that ended up canceling each other out. And that's going to be 3. So here we go. x is less than or equal to 3. So here is my 3 on my number line. Now, how do we represent that? So this is where it becomes very, very important to take a look at the inequality. So we have the 3, so I'm going to go ahead and put a circle right there. If we have a uh, less than symbol or a greater than symbol, we are going to use an open circle. That means we're not including the number itself. But if we have a less than or equal to, like what we have, we are actually going to bubble that in. Same with a greater than or equal to. So I'm going to bubble this in so it's a closed circle. If it didn't have that that little equal sign at the bottom, it would just be an open circle. And then less than, so we're moving, we're getting less, we're getting smaller, so what I would do is I would just kind of shade this in so my answer range, because it's not an equal sign, it's an inequality, so it could be more than one answer. It's an infinite number uh, of answers moving to the left of 3, right? It could be any of these. And so let's just take 0. Let's just see if that works, right? So we see here that uh, 0 obviously is less than or equal to 3. Um, so that's pretty simple. But let's plug it back into the original inequality. So 32 times 0 plus 10 less than or equal to 106. Well, that's, I picked 0 because anything times 0 is 0. So that's just going to be 0. That's going to be 10 is less than or equal to 106. And that's going to work out perfectly. So here is our answer.